Hello and welcome back to Alan Wake. We have to rescue Rusty. Looks like he's dying in there. Back here. I'm back here. Hey, please help me. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found Game Drew. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Shh. Good boy. All right, so I guess I need to go back and turn on the lights in the, uh, in the office over here. Well, I guess there's nothing else for me to do, and I'm a little bit terrified the nothing the music has stopped. Sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Yeah, something tells me that's going to be a bit of a difficult task. At least more difficult than they're making it sound right at this very moment. All right, well, here's a manuscript page at the very least. Let's go ahead and grab that. Oh, uh, boy. There's, like, screeching or something coming from behind that door. The last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Oh, good. That means that I'm going to have to get to the center here in just a moment when the lights turn on, and that's going to be how I end up saving myself, is it? All right, well, somewhere in here i got to turn on the lights. Oh, that shadow scared the shit out of me for just a second. Yes, please open this. I need the ammo uh, and batteries, I suppose. Yeah, an axe did that. That seems problematic. That was too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. That seems bad. Rusty! Rusty! Oh boy, Rusty, I really don't know if I can get you out of this one, but I'm coming. Covered with oily patches that look like liquid darkness. What is this doing for me? Why am I getting rid of these? What does that do? Are there any more? Yeah, there's one right here. Oh, why, why are there oily patches on the ground? I don't understand this part, but they're laying it all over the place. So I might as well get rid of them while I still can, because I figure that something will probably pop out of them if I don't. Okay, is that all of them? Is that everything? Any more oily patches laying around? Not that I spot right off the bat, although I assume there will probably be more when we get inside. Rusty? Rusty, you're not yourself! Excuse me, Rusty, I'm gonna have to ask you to sit down. Please put the axe down and cease and desist. What am I doing in here? Just looking for actual Rusty? Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Rusty? Fishing is only permitted for those creatures who purchase a park. Fishing. License no bay. The park rangers and stuff. Rusty! Yeah. You are fast! Rusty? Rusty, no! Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay. Closer than 25 yards. That's us Rusty's a fast boy! He's a fast boy! Oh, I don't like these fast bosses. It is to remove any Rusty, you know, it, it doesn't work that well for you if you just run in and out of the house. That's not gonna that's not gonna do you any good. Oh, 
All right, well, you know, he tried, but I kept a pretty good eye on him that whole time, so I wasn't too worried. Uh, okay, there's more enemies coming, however, so we do have to get rid of them. If you guys will please relax for a minute, I really need to grab this ammo. Oh, there's like a bunch of it here. Uh, yeah, that lets you know when there's a boss fight, but I never really saw it while I was in the middle of that fight, so it didn't matter. Okay, well, hopefully the boss fights change a little bit, because that was exactly the same as the first fight that we had. Uh, only I was ready for it this time, because uh, he was just moving quickly, and that was really all there was to it. That seems bad. Can I open this, please? There's light in here, which protects me. That's right, there's nothing you can do to me while I'm in this beautiful light. Not that I think there's really anything they can do to me right here anyways, because we just reached a checkpoint. So, let's make our way down where I heard some sobbing from like a child- Oh, my cell phone. Hello? What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Trust me, I know that I'm not crazy. I tried to warn you of that. Can I take the six-pack as well? Guess not. Well, let's get, at least get this manuscript page and maybe figure out a little bit more about what's going on. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens, but she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long dead marriage had been. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, I ended up ultimately killing Rusty. Well, I guess whatever evil was here killed Rusty, but you know, I'm the one that finally put him down as it were. Okay, is there batteries? Yep, and I already have too much ammo, so I can't take that. And all we have is our pistol. If we find a shotgun at any point, or a flare, I'm going to try to use those. Because I want to know what they do, and I have absolutely no idea at this point. Is there a uh, manuscript page hiding anywhere? I'm missing a single manuscript page, and I hope I didn't already pass it up. For your safety, stay on designated hiking trail. Yeah, well, I already violated that order before I read that. Oh, Lover's Peak is right here. Well, that's excellent, so we're, Peak we're here. The far end of the nature trail. Well, what's in what's in Moonshine Cave? It's open. Should I should I not be doing this? Is this a bad idea? This kind of feels like a, a terrible idea. Oh, but I'm doing it anyway. We are going into the deep, creepy cave. Oh, with lots of noises in it. Oh, but it's actually beautiful. Coming into one of these would be pretty amazing. Sight of frequent bootlegger activity throughout the prohibition. Oh. And there's... Hello? <laughs> Are there bad things afoot? Oh, oh hi there. You... <laughs> yes, hello. <laughs> Are you stuck? <laughs> what was that all about? Wait, is he supposed to drop down at me? Okay, well, he didn't, I guess, so... I'll take that shotgun, uh... With two bullets... And, uh, oh, batteries. Batteries are always useful, but that's all there was around here. I really want to know what he was up to. Was he supposed to drop down, or did I just find him early? What was that? And I don't suppose there's anything else. Whoa. I thought I saw something. I thought I saw something. I just heard myself running and scared myself. Yeah, so the only point of the cave seems to be to get those extra supplies. So, I guess, in the end, I'm glad I did it. I'm afraid of this guy dropping down and sneaking up behind me now, because I did see him up there for sure. I'm not crazy. I mean, my character's crazy, but I'm not crazy. The player's not crazy. At least not crazy enough to be seeing that sort of thing in the game without it actually being there. Lover's Peak is at the end of the trail here, and we are just about there. We are on our way. Uh, would you would, would you go figure that? Another light broke, as always. Oh, you bastards. Ah! 
Ouch! Well, that didn't go quite as planned, uh, but I didn't actually take a full bar of damage, so I think I'm just fine. But god damn it, though. Yes, please give me the batteries. I just wasted a battery. Uh, I hate it when they suddenly appear directly behind me. And on two sides, like, what's the strategy to get away there? All right, well, we're almost there. And we just hit a checkpoint. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me in the next episode when I hopefully make it up there without dying to those stupid creepers. You guys have a good one.